I want to talk to you about the top 10 guaranteed approval credit cards for fair or bad credit. Now go anywhere, you're going to love today's conversation, I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka, man. Let's roll. <laughs> In today's discussion, I want to talk to you about the top 10 guaranteed approval credit cards for fair or bad credit. Okay, if you are in that category, I want you to stick around. So, number 10, we have the Revi card or the Rev the Revi card, okay? Our score, 7.5 over 10. What we love about Revit is that they allow you, they will uh, approve you, not a problem, but they do have uh, a lot of fees though, because you got to be very careful about the fees here. This is, uh, so you have one-time fees of $89, the regular APR, 34, 99%, uh, annual fees, $75 the first year, then $48 after that. There is, uh, there's no monthly fee for the first year, but after that you pay $625, okay, a month. The rewards rate, 1% cashback. And uh, if you have a poor credit, bad credit, fair credit, they will take you. For this card, we you only want to take it if you have bad credit. Okay, if you have fair credit, there are other cards out there. And the rewards, you can earn 1% cashback rewards on payments meant to your Revy credit card. Okay, this is really important. And you have a fast and easy application. They will provide a response within seconds, actually. They have a $300 initial credit limits okay you can build your credit score with on-time payments and keeping your balance below the credit limits this is really good but they want you to have a checking account and they will report your transactions to the three major credit bureaus okay this is really uh, important so Revy 7.5 over 10 number nine we have the first digital MasterCard our score 8 over 10 here you also have a lot of fees so you have one-time fees of $95 regular APR 35.99% the, eight, the annual fee for the first year is $75, then it becomes $48. And if you have bad credit, you can go with uh, this first digital master card also. What we love with this card is the, the fact that it helps you build credit. The fees are a killer though, don't get me wrong, but it helps you. This is the kind of card you use for six months or one year if you're really, really uh, that low in, the, in your FICO score. And then right after that, you just close the account. Don't, leave, don't even leave it open because they will be charging you $75 a month, you, uh, a year rather, and you don't want that. So you close the account, okay? But overall, this is a great uh, card for for credit starters. You have an, an easy and online secure application. It takes, it takes about one minute to apply, okay? So perfect credit is not required for approval. They may approve you when others won't. So this is really good. And they report your activity to the three major credit bureaus, okay? First, Digital MasterCard, eight over 10. Number seven, number eight rather, number eight. We have the Fit MasterCard. Our score, eight over 10. Here is another card that will approve you, but again, has uh, tons of fees. Please, I'm just being very transparent with you with the fees, so you know, your, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into, okay? You have one-time fees of $89, the regular APR is a little lower, so it's 29, 99%. It's variable. You have to pay an annual fee of $99, monthly fee $0 for the first year, and after that $6.25. And so this is good if you have bad credit, okay? And uh, so one thing you need to know is that you have an initial credit limit of $400 that doubles to $800. So you simply need to make your first six monthly minimum payments on time, and they'll take care of you. And they accept all types of credit, okay they report to the three major credit bureaus this is really good we love the fact that they have a fast and easy application process you get results in seconds okay in seconds and overall also i need to mention this they want you to have a checking account you got to have a checking account okay so fit mastercard eight over ten number seven we have total visa our score 8.5 over 10. here's another credit card that has a lot of fees okay all of them most of them have fees i mean if you have bad credit you really want to uh, be aware of that okay so they have one-time fee 89 dollars 
regular APR 34.99%, the annual fee $75 the first year and $48 after that, okay? The monthly fee none for the first year and then you have to pay $6.25 every year. So this is for people who have poor credit. They want you to have a checking account. Here also you have a, a fast and easy application process. And what we love is that they are basically, they can actually upgrade you faster. In other words, they will start you with $300 in initial credit limits, and then they will bump you to 600, 900, depending on your use of the card. And they will report all your activity to uh, the three major credit bureaus okay so in no time in six months with responsible use you could see an, a, an increase in your FICO score and then once you have that please close the account because we really don't like we don't like the fact that there are so many fees there are so many rates there are so many I mean we just believe that those card issuers are taking advantage of folks who are vulnerable but hey this is how the game is played don't blame the play. Don't blame the player. You want to blame. You want to blame the game. Okay. So total visa. Our score eight point five over ten. Number six, folks. We have applied bank unsecured classic visa. Our score eight point five over ten. So here you have one-time fees of $89, the regular APR is 29.99%, the annual fee $75 first year and $45 after that, the monthly fee is uh, nailed the first year and $6.25 after that, and if you have a bad credit, they will take care of you, and this is also kind of good if you are already a client of a client bank, okay, and so what we love with this uh, card overall is that you can get pre-qualified in less than a minute. So this is really good. You don't have to uh, have a hard pull. You can see whether or not you, you pre-qualify and uh, you will give you an initial uh, credit limit of uh, $300. Remember, this is unsecured, okay? And they will report your transactions to the credit bureaus. And uh, so uh, your rate will not go up even if you're late. This is uh, pretty original here. So there is no penalty rate and uh, you access additional credit limits with on-time payments and responsible usage. Okay, and w what we love with this card is that they do not require perfect credit for approval. This is really good. So, uh, Applied Bank Unsecured Classic Visa, 8.5 over 10. Number five, folks, we have a Fortiva Cashback Reward. Our score, 9 over 10. And uh, when you think about Fortiva or Fortiva, people have said Fortiva, but we just love the Fortiva pronunciation. What I want to say here is that with this card, there's no one-time fee. Uh, have I said that the card is uh, rated 9 over 10? Yes, I did. I think I did. So, one-time one, one fee, 9. Regular APR, 29.99%. The annual fee, $85 to $175 the first year. And $29 to $49 after that. The monthly fee, none for the first year. $725 to $1250 after that. And what we love with this card is that even though the fees are huge, you have a rewards rate that goes from one to three percent cashback okay and again this is the kind of card you want to use responsibly for six months and then ditch do not keep this card okay so when we talk about the rewards re details you earn three percent cashback reward on eligible gas grocery and utility purchases or payments you earn one percent cashback reward on all other eligible purchases okay you can pre-qualify instantly without impacting your credit score and you have you can receive an initial limit of up to $1,000, okay? And you also get free access to your Vantage Score 3.0 credit score from from Equifax, and uh, this is really good. So overall, this is a card that is, uh, that's, that's not bad. Uh, you know, we believe that uh, it's a great card that has a lot of perks, but again, all the cards I'm giving you on this show, most of them at least, you want to use them for six months, bump your credit score, and ditch them. Because they're charging you the annual fees, they're charging you other fees, monthly fees, or whatnot. This is just crazy. Uh, we just believe they're just taking advantage of vulnerable people and they should actually uh, but again this is a topic for another show number four folks we have here aspire credit card our score nine over ten and we love aspire because uh there they have no one one-time fees okay nothing the regular apr is a 29.99 percent 
the annual fee eighty five to one seventy five dollars the first year, twenty nine dollars to forty nine dollars after that. The monthly fee is none for the first year and uh, second year, uh, second year or third year, or whatever, seven twenty five to twelve fifty. Okay, the rewards rate one to three percent cashback, and so this is this this Aspire credit card has uh, a similar rewards uh, process to uh, the for the Fortiva. So you can earn 3% cash back reward on eligible gas, groceries, and utility purchases or payments. You earn 1% cash back or reward on all other eligible purchases, okay? And you can see if you are pre-qualified with no impact to your credit score. And we also love the fact that you get results within seconds. Here you have a fast and easy application process, okay? And you can also add your card to Apple Pay, Google Play, Google Pay, or Samsung Pay for easy contactless payments. So this is really good. And they also have periodic credit limit increase reviews. Number three, folks, we have here Surge MasterCard. I will score 9.5 over 10. So there's no one-time fee. The regular APR oscillates from 24.99% to 29.99%. The annual fee $75 to $99. The monthly fee is none for the first year. And uh, after that, up to 10 years, uh, up to $10, okay? And the minimum credit here, you can have poor credit or no credit, they will take you. And what we love with uh, the Surge MasterCard is that you have an initial credit limit of $1,000 that doubles up to $2,000. All you have to do is just to make your first six monthly minimum payments on time and they will take care of you, okay? And we love the fact that you have free access to your Vantage 3.0 score from Experian. When you sign up for e-statements, they have monthly reporting to the three major credit bureaus. This is really good. Okay. You have a fast and easy application process. You see results in seconds. You have free online access 24-7, but they do require a checking account. So checking accounts is really important. Okay. So uh, in terms of the monthly fee, the, the fee is uh, $0 for the first 12 months and, and then $10 per month starting the second year. And this is a wait for those with the seven fifty or one thousand dollars in credit limits. So your 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 job is to actually bump up your credit limit in uh, let's say as fast as possible. I'll be right back. But after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sorted Kiwi Show, folks. We are still talking about the top 10 guaranteed approval credit cards. Number two, folks, we have Indigo MasterCard. Our score, 9.5 over 10. And with the Indigo MasterCard, we uh, here the fees are a little lower. Okay, one-time fees, not the, none, okay. The regular APR, 24.90%. Annual fee, maximum $99. There's no monthly fee. This is really good. We love this card a lot. And what what, it, what is good is that you can pre-qualify for a card today and it will not impact your credit score. Okay, less than perfect credit is okay. You have mobile account access at any time. You have fraud protection for stolen or lost card. Your account history is reported to the three major credit bureaus. This is really good, okay? So this is uh, this is great. We love this card. And um, yeah, the Indigo MasterCard, our score 9.5 over 10. And the best of the best folks, folks in our view, best of the best is the milestone mastercard our score 10 over 10 because the card is great uh, you have one-time fees there's not no one-time fees the regular apr 24.90 percent the annual fee 35 to 99 dollars monthly fee none okay you can pre-qualify for a card today and this will not impact your score we love that and you have um, mobile account access at any time Protection from fraud if your card is stolen, this is really good. And they will report your transaction to the credit bureaus, this is really good. So when you think about think about milestone, you need to think about uh, a lot of benefits. You have a lot of benefits. You have a 24-7 access to your account so you can track your progress, okay? And um, you have, so I've already said, they will report your activity to Experian, to Equifax, to TransUnion. So no security deposit is required, so your money stays in your pocket. Okay, at the, at the end of the day, they can actually increase, they can actually uh, approve you for up to $5,000. 
they might start you with one thousand or fifteen hundred dollars but if you are good with the payments you pay on time and you manage your account very well they can bump you up to three thousand within six months okay and it's all about being being um responsible with your card usage this is really important and one thing i also want need to say is that uh, this card your milestone mastercard is protected okay you have fraud protection in case your card happens to be lost or, st or stolen this is really good and you can use whatever mastercard is accepted in the united states not a problem i actually have a uh, two bonus cards for you folks and um, I'm very happy that you have made it so far in this uh, rundown. And first, you have the first phase card. I will score 7 over 10, okay? And uh, this card is kind of cool because uh, this, this card allows you to build or rebuild your credit, okay? So one thing you need to understand is that you can actually call them, you can call them up or you can actually um, apply online. And you have zero liability. So you are covered if your card is ever lost, stolen, or fraudulently used. This is really important. And initial credit lines range from $300 to $1,000. Okay, this is what it is. But they also have a constellation of fees though, okay? So you have one-time fees, one-time program fee of $89. Annual fee is $75 for the first year. You have a monthly servicing fee that is $0 for the first year, but $625 per month thereafter. And APR of 34.99%. Okay, and this is something that you need to think about. And uh, this card, as a lot of other cards, is issued by the Bank of Missouri. Okay, one thing you need to think about. And the second card I want to share with you is the first access card. I will score 6.5 over 10. And this is a card that also uh, allows you to, uh, to build your credit. The only thing I want to say, and this is really important, folks, you want to get this card as an absolute last resort. In other words, if you cannot find other cards and you are just quote unquote desperate, you are desperate to build or rebuild your credit, get this card. But do not, this card should never be your first option at all. We don't like this card because the fees are too much, really, way too much. But we somehow included the card here to show you all the options out there in terms of credit cards for folks with poor credit. But again, the fees are ridiculous, okay? This kind of looks like the Bank of Missouri is taking advantage of vulnerable applicants. I mean, we have actually said this in other shows. You want to see for yourself. You know, you have APR 34.99%. APR for purchases or cash advances, the same thing, 34.99%. You have program fee, $95. This is a one-time fee. The annual fee, $75 for the first year. After that, that's $48. Okay. The monthly servicing fee, none for the first year. After that, it's $99 annually. This is $825 per month. Think about that. Transaction fees, you have none for the first year. After that, it's either $10 or 3% of the amount of each cash advance. And for penalty fees, you have a late payment fee of $40, $41 and return payment fee of $41. So this is really, really a lot. <music> So let's just quickly talk about guaranteed approval credit cards, folks. So when I talk to you about guaranteed approval credit cards, you got to think about what's really important here. Your job is to actually be approved for a credit card without hurting your credit because your credit is already damaged anyway, right? And the whole thing here is that you want to go, you want to go for it, the unsecured credit card for bad credit. You don't want to have an unsecured credit card for, a, for a good credit or unsecured credit card. I mean, no, you're looking for those that cater to folks in your space and even though the limits are low because they will start you around three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars this is just what it is okay and uh aprs are kind of high they are usually between 24 percent and 35 percent fees are plentiful and can include sign up fees annual fees and fees for cash advances foreign transactions and late payments the thing is that it comes with the territory those fees come with the territory you are in a bad space right now literally and your job is to stay to hang in there for three months for six months and actually get it get yourself out of there and close the account okay and there are a lot of uh credit cards that are easy to get in this show i've, I've uh, listed 12 credit cards that are easy to get 
quote unquote easier to get because uh, they come with uh, fees. As long as you're comfortable with the fees, not a problem. You can go ahead and, and get the, get any card you want. Okay. And so what is the minimum credit score needed for an unsecured card? In our research, we have seen that 550. 550 is actually the, the, the minimum. If you want to get a, a good credit card, I mean, good, quote unquote, good credit card, you want to have 550. If you have below that, then uh, you might want to, uh, you're going to have to either get a secure, let's say a secure credit card or something else. Okay. So the bottom line here is that you need to be very careful about what really, what really uh, matters for you. Before we close to this conversation, folks, please. Check out this credit card evaluation approach video. We do have a strict method on this show when it comes to uh, evaluating, when it comes to uh, regulating, when it comes to reviewing credit cards. Check this out. Let's recap to this conversation. So, number one, Milestone MasterCard, 10 over 10. Number two, we have Indigo MasterCard, 9.5 over 10. Number three, we have the Surge MasterCard, 9.5 over 10. Number four, we have the Aspire Credit Card, 9 over 10. Number five, we have the Fortiva Cashback Rewards Card, 9 over 10. Number six, we have the Applied Bank Unsecured Classic Visa, 8.5 over 10. Number seven, we have a Total Visa. 8.5 over 10. Number eight, we have the Fit MasterCard, 8 over 10. Number nine, we have the first digital MasterCard, 8 over 10. Number 10, we have the Revy card, 7.5 over 10. And in the bonus category, we have two cards that I will, I will share with you. The first phase card, 7 over 10. And the first access card, 6.5 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>